Mm. So on the right side, I've only seen fabricated stories from Sean Hannity, Rush Limbaugh, Glenn Beck, and, and, and Bill O'Reilly. Mm. I see mostly fabricated stories to prove a point. But on the left side, I see stories from Keith Oberman, and Rachel Maddow and such. Mm. I see those stories are easily collaborated. Now, I might be wrong in that assertion. So if that if, if I'm correct in that assertion, therefore, you must conclude mm. that the right are the ones that are more... Uh, "Quote unquote evil than no, the left." I, you know, uh, I, I, I don't know. I don't know. I mean, I think I think what Joe was getting at, and a lot of people do feel this way, is that um, uh, there are a lot of people, the progressive media, who will uh, shade stuff. I mean, will shade stuff. There's no question about it. I mean, like, look, even the Charlie Wrangle thing. I could have hammered him with a bunch of questions, but I, I mean, I didn't do it. I didn't do it. And I told you all up front. I used to live in Harlem. I liked the guy. I, I know his work. Uh, you know, he's been a friend to my show, and he's given us a lot of good inside information when we needed it about what was going on in Congress, and I'm not in a position to do it. Now, not everybody would tell you that, and I think that's where people start to think that uh, there could be a, um, a a bias at work, you know. I mean, I but, but see, the way I think about it, and I, I tell people this, I, I teach journalism, and I tell my kids this, uh, the goal is not to be unbiased. The goal should be uh, to be fair. That's, I mean, that's what you want. I think what, that's what people want.